Hello everybody on YouTube and wherever. I am Tom, or whatever you want to call me, Pop Bad Man by my YouTube name. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a water rocket. Uh, you might kind of think this is kind of weird because I'm in my bedroom, but I find it easiest because it's cold, dark, and yeah, generally just freezing outside. And I can also use my headset to speak to you loud and clear uh, whilst I'm in here. So I'm going to make a rocket, which I've already done. This is one I made earlier. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you how to make this but a bigger version, because I'm actually making a bigger version, which when it's finished, it's going to be, once I put it all together, it's going to be about that big. And it should go about twice as far. So it's going to be pretty cool, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let me show you what gear I have set up down here. So literally not much stuff. I have this bike pump, uh, which is like, you pump it like so. It's pretty cool. Um, some cardboard, which I've used just to cut out some thin, some fins, which are all the same size. I've literally just made one fin, which will go like on the end of that. Like these little things here. It just stops the rocket from like spinning around. And then if it's, if you don't have the fins, which are a bit rubbish here. Um, then hang on, let me put the camera down. Then if you don't have the fins, the fins, then what happens is if you didn't have them, they'd just it'd spin and then it'd start to rotate and it would do that and it wouldn't go as far. So you put the fins, the th I can't speak, you put the fins on and that stops it from spinning around and stuff and that keeps it going like, like an actual rocket. Yeah, so um, also you want to use a fizzy drinks bottle for this, not a like a still water thing or anything because fizzy drinks bottles are made to hold in the pressure which you're going to be causing to actually make your rocket fly. So what I've done is I've got some fizzy drinks bottles, Tango, I'm not sponsored by them at all, but I should be because this video might get a few views and yeah, I should get some money for that, but I'm not going to. Um, so yeah, I've cut up some Tango bottles, I'm gonna stick them all together. I literally just cut the ends off that middle one just to make it longer, but obviously of this one, I've just used one bottle and then stuck the top of another bottle on the end. So, but I wanna make a big one. So, yes, um, this video might require some editing because I don't want you to sit here. Actually, I could just fast forward. I don't want, to, I don't want you sitting here whilst I stick everything together. But basically, yeah, I'm going to do it now. Um, so, yeah, actually, I'm going to be back in a minute with a, a stuck together version of this bottle. Ta-da! Magic editing again by me. Uh, what I've done is I've taped this up um, very loosely. I'd advise a bit more tape on that, but for the time being it's fine. Uh, I've also for, for sort of haven't stuck this on yet because we need to have some, add some weight. I literally cannot speak. Uh, I've actually managed to get my finger really completely stuck in this tape. But this is a cricket ball. Uh, for this one, uh, I've used a tennis ball. This is a calamitous attempt of a tutorial. But yeah, I've used a tutorial. Uh, can't speak. <laughs> I've used a tennis ball. <laughs> Uh, in here to add weight because if you add weight at the front it makes it top heavy rather than having the center of gravity in the middle and that way it stops it from doing that it keeps it the weight guided towards the front so it will go up like that and down like that just like a rocket but this is a tennis ball and it's a small rocket this is obviously considerably bigger uh, so I've used a cricket ball but yes I've actually got my finger stuck and I have to try and cut my way out of this bear with me a second uh, without cutting my finger this could be on like fail the top Oh no, it's okay. I was going to say it could be on like <laughs> top fails of 2013 or something at the end of the year, but cutting my finger off. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, okay. So I've taped this ball up, sort of, and literally, where's my other half? There. Uh, just drop this. So actually, no, I'm going to place this. Try and stick it in there, like that. Um, then I'm going to fast forward, because I'm so skillful, whilst I tape this ball in. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay. Fast forward and over, or editing done, whatever I'm going to do. I'll do something funky on Sony Vegas later. Uh, I've stuck this cricket ball in, more or less in place. It's pretty stable. I might add some more tape after the tutorial, but just for now, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so make sure it's all taped in. Oh, also, you're going to need oh, a lid. It's handy. You've got one on this end, because this is where all the stuff's going to spurt out, so I don't need it at that end. I need a lid on this end, just to keep the pressure in. Make sure it's on nice and tight. Ugh. I don't really want to crush the balls. So I can't really do it that tight, actually. I should have done this before beforehand but anyway it's on pretty tight as tight as you can get it um yeah because you want to keep all the pressure built up inside uh in here so yes um tape this together edit time okay i'm back with some really bad taping but i, I advise you to seriously tape this up really well no, make it like all flappy and stuff because that will stop the aerodynamics of the rocket. But make sure it's nice and tight and f securely fitted because when the pressure builds in here or later on when you're going to 
actually launch it, the whole thing's just going to rip apart. You want all the pressure to be coming out of the cork, which is actually I'm going to talk about now. Um, this is the trickiest bit of the entire thing. This is where you need, this thing's going to go in this end and the cork is going to shoot out basically once the pressure gets really built up. This is the trickiest bit, so listen closely. What I've done, as you can see, I've actually got this cork, it's cut in half, sort of, and I've stuck a valve through the si through the center of it. You can see it's gone right through the center, so it's sealed really tight. You have to drill quite a tight hole in there and push the thing in. This valve is actually from the inner tube in of a bike, uh, literally just an old bike I had in the garage. Pull the tire off, front tire is easiest, obviously, because you have to fiddle about the chain. Um, cut all the inner tube in away from the valve, uh, and then, yeah, literally just cut it all apart and you end up something that looks like that minus the cork <laughs> but then you drill a hole through the cork and you end up then ramming that in there and you end up like that i actually cut it a bit short there's another bit of cork this is the other half of the cork it would be better if i used that because it's uh thicker and therefore can probably hold a slightly more pressure but this will have to do that's what i've done um and then this is where this bike pump comes in handy it's all connected up and it's actually got a little gorge there gauge gorge gauge gorge i swear gorge is like something to do with rocks but anyway um yeah you stick this thing in the bike pump or if you can see that and then you literally screw that on there like so um and then you fill this with water <laughs> before i put it in there uh you want to fill this with water as it's really tall i don't know if you can see all this on camera i'll sort of zoom back a bit i'd fill it up about a third of the way or a quarter ish so that's halfway, more or less. I'd fill it up to about there with water. You don't want to fill it up too much because then you can't build the pressure because there's too much water and not enough room for all the air you're pumping into it. And you don't want too little because you need some fuel. Water is literally the fuel of your rocket. So you don't want too little. So I'd recommend about a third of the way up. Fill up with water. Um, once it's filled up with water, obviously tilt it that way and then shove the cork in there nice and tight. I'm not going to do it too tight at the moment because I'm not obviously not actually launching this time. Um, yeah, and then once all that's done, then you literally just pump some air in there, like that, uh, and then keep pumping, and eventually it will launch, but we'll get to that in a minute. How long is this failure going on for? That's a good seven minutes or so there. Mind you, I've fast-forwarded bits and cut bits out, so it's not too bad. Uh, the fins, I recommend three fins. This is straight. Uh, I recommend three fins, which I've literally just cut out of cardboard, which is fine and you want to take them on to the end and try and keep them evenly spaced. What I used was actually a piece of string. I measured, uh, using a piece of string, wrapped it around once, measured that against the ruler to find out how long it was, say it was like 30 centimeters. Then you obviously just do, put the thin in, fin in and then do 10 centimeters fin, 10 centimeters fin. And you ended up, this is this has been used and it's a bit raggedy but you, the f fins are a bit floppy you want to hold them up firmer than that but still uh, i use three because that's that's sufficient honestly um so some more editing i'll be back in a minute with these stuck on and it'll look like an actual rocket a little bit and i'm back Whew. i'm actually quite tired despite the editing i've been a very busy man because as you can see i have fins they're not actually perfectly taped on right now they're all measured out accurately i literally cut out a little piece of string like i said measured it against the ruler and turns out about 10.5 centimeters around each bit and that will keep the fins at an equal distance away from each other uh you want as you can see they're still a bit bit flimsy but you want to take them on nice and firm and they will do the job for you i promise you make sure they're all like even around that way as well they are more or less even so there you go that's pretty much your rocket oh wait there's actually one more thing uh, a funnel i find to make it a little bit more aerodynamic uh to stick that on there like so so yes a little bit more editing tiny last bit i think of editing oh, so i tape this up one second zing done uh really badly as you can see you really want to make sure it's taped on much better than that just tape it down nice and firm uh because this is rubbish and loose at the moment but you get the idea you take that on nice and firm and it actually points like a rocket that makes it really aerodynamic so the air literally just cuts right over it like that and this will fly like a beauty this thing's gonna go pretty far i got a good feeling about this once i've taped it up properly and everything but that is fundamentally all there is to it so yeah literally um fill up like i say with water i reckon probably just just about up to where the fins end here and then you're good to go you literally put the cork in get the pump you need some sort of stand to put this on that's another point 
what I used with this rocket, the smaller rocket, you can see the difference in size now, it's literally twice as big. What I used with that was literally a pair of shears, I stuck them into the ground, and then like the handles are poking out, and I just rested the rocket like that. With this, you're going to have to be a little bit more imaginative. Um, I'll think of something, uh, or you can think of something, but basically you just need some sort of platform which is doesn't provide much resistance, so it can just slide up. Literally, I wouldn't hold it, because you're going to be like... <laughs> And yeah, it's not much fun. Um, but yeah, this thing should, I reckon it will travel the length of a football field approximately. This this little tyke went about half a football field, so this thing is a tank, um, or a rocket rather. <laughs> a tank of a rocket, and it's going to go pretty far. So yeah, um, literally just put the cork in. Ugh, once it's filled with the water, put it in there like so. Um, once you start pumping, once it's in its stand and you're pumping the pump away, uh, once it gets so much pressure build up in there, probably about 60 or 70 PSI-ish, um, the pressure will get so much, the cork, providing you've taped it up properly, the cork will be the first thing to fly out. At that point, the water will shoot out and use using Newton's third law of motion uh, with the whole, each action has an equal and opposite reaction. Water goes that way, rocket goes that way, and you have success. Um, make sure you film it as well and upload it to YouTube and let me know if, you've ever, if you ever end up making a rocket because I'll be pretty chuffed for myself that my tutorial has helped someone uh, if it's not going to help you and you're not actually going to make a, a rocket out of it and you maybe just found it interesting then go ahead like the video um like the video purely for my t-shirt because it's, it's a wonderful t-shirt my friend bought me i love it <laughs> anyway that's how you make a, a rocket i think that's all covered thanks guys for watching i am out of here Another quick edit, very last bit of the video, um, I will actually launch this rocket and I will pull it in uh, another video, so stay tuned, I will be launching this rocket soon. Thank you for watching, see you later.